Oh, I heard a sound though, so that hopefully it's good. I'm gonna make sure that's all the way up. Can you hear us? Okay. Testing, testing. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Kelly. I'm with our Vacation for Life. As you see, I should be working out, so this is my workout today. Uh, Dan is at work, so I thought I'd go ahead and um, share some stuff here. Um, we're actually doing painting, and I want to share some uh, tips with you. Really important. So stay tuned, and I will be right back. All right, so I'm back, and I just wanted to share some stuff with you. i am um, been painting, painting every house that I've ever lived in, and am a pretty darn good painter. But I'm telling you this, do not <laughs> try and do it without the tape. Uh, I put all this up there. And I purposely hit the tape on this, but we, when you've got as many cabinets as we do here, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do, it's very important to go ahead and take that time and put that tape on there. Now, I got the frog um, tape because I did not want any of it seeping through on all these beautiful cabinets. Why this is so important, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this is uh whoops sorry an indentation it is not flat so you literally have to push the brush inside there or else you're going to have some of these brown marks now this is what the uh, normal ceiling look like and to me it looks dirty so what we're doing and i'm going to go over here is just doing a nice clean coat it's um not white but it's not brown it's a, a nice um kind of warm tone uh, and I can look and see what it is for you, but as you can see, there's uh, before and there it is after. Be or, excuse me, <laughs> before and after. But again, uh, very important to go ahead and use the tape all the way around. Now, here's another thing. We took off all of our balances here. They were old, they were uh, dusty as heck, and they were like your brown traditional and 1978 style is hideous so we took all those off um, but what, see what I also did is I used some tape around here now to get into all these small areas I used an actual paintbrush and I'll show you in a little second because look it up here do you see this right here this is not very thick so I actually used a paintbrush, but see how nice and clean that looks now? And it worked very, very nice. So I didn't get paint all over the cabinets. I think I did this side also, up at the very top. You could that very ledge there. I got that. So I'm gonna show you the paintbrush real quick that I used. We got our house all torn apart. Um, but this is the paintbrush that I used. So it's amazing, it gets right up in there without any problems just like that so um it's nothing fancy i do a lot of painting so i just found the only paintbrush i had because we're selling everything but use this and it so far is amazing again it goes right up in here look at that so it does it makes it easy to paint doesn't get up on your wood because as you can see i didn't even use any of the tape up here because I was confident that I could uh, get up in there. But again, with this paintbrush, see how I'm pushing it in? I had to go up in there, and that's why you have all that white spots on there. But that's important because otherwise, your uh, ceiling is going to look dirty. So I'll cut, touch base with you guys in a bit as I keep going and give you some more tips. Thanks. All right, this is, and I'm going to get into this a little bit later, but this had a wall, and it was so silly. The wall ended right here, and this was all white, and it looked horrible. So what I did is, with some black paint, I painted this. Isn't that awesome? It's a richer color, and it, you'll see all this, but I kind of made it kind of now look like it all is good and, and it painted all this area here and all the way down to the floor and again give it some contrast not just the white um, again whoever makes these I'm not sure why they stop right here and not go all the way through with the simulated tile 
All right, now back to our other painting. Uh, we talked about this. Again, this, this one was probably the hardest one that I did, and it's the smallest space. It is, again, it's uh, sloped. Whoops, can't say. So I had to take that tape and kind of angle it and push it up in the corner so that I can get up in there uh, and then go all the way around. And of course, I don't want to do this beautiful brown tone. So again, I use the tape, which I normally don't ever use. I'm um, same on the, the light. Um, wanted this to be taped so I wouldn't get any on there also. All right, and I'll be back. All right, I'm nervous, so I let this dry just a little bit. They always say it's best to take off the paint or the tape before it dries. So, fingers crossed. Hopefully, it, it worked. And with this frog, it's supposed to be better than the other. So, so far, so good there. Oh, all right. See now, earlier, that's why we did this. I did get some uh, little marks on there, and I was pissed at myself for not taking two more seconds and, and doing all this tape. The tape I got at Home Depot, I think it's about $8 for a roll of the stuff. Oh, there we go. Ah, but it's, it's good. It sticks pretty good to you. Probably doing this by myself. Dan's out working, so. Um, as we told you guys before, we're still working <laughs> and uh, getting this all done. So, so far it looks really nice and clean. I'm, I'm real excited about it. All right, there's a little bit of tape still left here. All right. Yay. Okay, so it did do that, and again... This is where I did not use the tape earlier, so, and then same on this, you're going to see some spots on there because, shame on me, I did not use it. Well, no, I guess you can't, so, but there it is. To be really careful with these are kind of tilted in curved in so I, I probably can't see it so it's very important that you go ahead and take this um, might as well you could do the good stuff it was only a dollar difference to go ahead with the frog and uh, so we're gonna get ready to do this so it looks all nice and clean <laughs> 